Cabello has denied any involvement in the drug trade. He says there is no proof against him and the accusations are aimed at tarnishing his reputation. El Nacional's independent reporting and headlines documenting power cuts, allegations of electoral fraud and strikes by desperate workers have prompted senior government leaders to regularly single out El Nacional's coverage for public criticism. In June, a tribunal in Caracas ordered El Nacional to pay Cabello the 1 billion bolivars he demanded in 2015 for libel for publishing the ABC story. Due to hyperinflation, that is worth just $300 today but the court said it should be adjusted for price rises. As the central bank has not published inflation data for three years, it is unclear how high the final award might be but according to Cabello it could potentially amount to hundreds of millions of dollars. I swear to you I will make you pay, Cabello said on his weekly state TV show in June, referring by name to El Nacional's owner Miguel Enrique Otero, who recently emigrated to Spain. As El Nacional never lies, the figure should be what they put on their front page, Cabello said, adding that inflation for the previous two years should also be taken into account. The court said in its ruling it would assign an independent expert to calculate how to update the fine but did not say who that would be. Under Venezuelan commercial law, if a company does not pay a court-imposed fine, the tribunal can seize its assets for auction. In a phone interview from Madrid, he said advertising on El Nacional's foreign-hosted website was earning it valuable hard currency to keep the publication going. We are going to try to maintain the print edition until the end, even if it's just a page, because it's politically symbolic, he said. They can't endure the crisis, Spadaro said, surrounded by dozens of empty cubicles. The United Nations estimates that one million Venezuelans left the country between 2015 and 2017, from a population of around 32 million. There has been a policy to suffocate the independent media in Venezuela. Spadaro said. Neither the Information Ministry nor the Moneyito Corporation, controlled by the ministry, responded to multiple requests for comment.